So the next knot we're going to do is called the clove hitch. Specifically, I'm going to show a, what we call a split locking clove. Uh, so you need to know which direction to pull. It is a directional knot. I'm going to go over the rail and come underneath on the head side of the vertical pin right here. Okay, And then I'm going to come across the top and I make an X. Go over the top and under the rail on the foot side of that vertical pin. And then you can see this big hole that it's making right here. That's where you're going to run the tail through. So you just run the tail right there. So that's what it looks like real loose. Okay. But on the basket, so you can see how it splits that pin. So on the basket, we'll dress it down and snug it down. So your direction of pull is going to be back this way because the standing part of your rope is biting down on the tail part. Again, what do we need? A safety knot. So what I like to do is I grab my tail end and I just come back over the top and tie my overhand safety. Remember on your safeties you want to snug them down as close as you can to that main knot. And that's a split lock and clove with a safety.